All right, who's excited as me about candy? Yeah, pretty excited. So, as I said in my last video that I posted, my husband saw how uh, how little I had canned. And he knew that my anxiety has been high because I haven't had haven't been canning and replenishing what we've been using and in my head I'm like oh no I have no food and then I start freaking out even though we have food but you canners out there will understand where I'm coming from so he tells me to can last night so last night I canned refried beans and I canned 15 bean soup base. Um, I say soup base, it's literally the beans. Um, I had a bag of the 15 bean soup mix. Um, I didn't put the flavor, ham flavor packet in because what I'm going to do is when I want ham and bean soup, I'll open up a can of my beans and I'll open up a can of my ham. And then if I need to add broth, I'll add broth. But I don't think I will because there's a lot of broth in my canned ham. But, oh, and I have a turkey thawing on one side of my uh, sink. And I have a pork butt on the other side. So, <laughs> a lot of canning coming your way. My husband, I think, is already regretting telling me to get to canning. But, anyway. Today we are canning garbanzo beans or chickpeas, however you know them. I am doing it for hummus and I'm also doing it because we really like roasted chickpeas. So I'm doing them in pint jars since that is the purpose that they are going to have. There's two pounds in here, I don't know if I said that. Half a cup for each pint jar. Now this is a dry bean method. Um, when you look up, uh, I need more jars. When you look up the uh, ball recipe for doing beans, it tells you um, measurements and the quick soak method or overnight soak method. But unless I'm doing refried beans, I do not soak the beans that I can because I like them to keep. Uh, that firm texture they're done completely done but they're not mushy and like I said unless I'm doing refried beans where I'm going to be mushing them anyway I don't want it to a mush bean so after you're done filling up your uh, jars with your half a cup of dry beans then you just fill it up with hot water to an inch of head space and I have my All-American heating up beside me we're gonna try to uh, fill it up as much as possible I have um, vinegar and I'm just going to wipe and inspect the rim of my jars to make sure there are no nicks or anything that could cause my seal to fail um, you could put salt in if you want, but we're really trying to get away of excess salt, so I don't, uh, I don't salt my beans anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore. So, then you take your lid and your ring, fingertip tight, and into the canner it goes. This is how easy doing beans are. Like, it is, it is the easiest thing in my opinion is beans and there they are also quick tip if you are doing beans please 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 do not skip the drain or rinse and drain okay and inspect beans are dirty guys they're dirty um if you don't believe me take a bag of dry beans put it in a pot of water whirl it around a little bit and let it sit when you go to drain that, it's going to have sediment and dirt at the bottom, and the color of your water is going to be nasty. And if you weren't uh, doing your beans before uh, rinsing them, you're going to be grossed out thinking, what have I been eating this whole time? 
So, <laughs> just fair warning, that is uh, <clears throat> that is my tip for the day. So I'm going to continue to fill up these uh, jars until, yes, until I am out of beans. And then um, for beans, it's pretty universal. Um, 75 minutes for pints and yes, 90 minutes for quarts. I'm doing pints, so 75 minutes, and for my altitude, it's 10 pounds of pressure. So I'm going to let it vent for 10 minutes and then uh, stick my weight on. And then after it comes up to pressure, I will start my timer Woo! and not before then. So I will bring you back when we are taking these out of the can. Okay, guys, so here are my chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whatever you want to call them, and they are gorgeous. I mean, I love beans, and I love canning beans, but for some reason, these cute little balls of joy, they just look adorable, and I love them. So, all the headspace turned out great. I ended up getting 10 jars out of the 2 pounds, which is about right. You can usually get um, 5 pints out of a pound, or 2.5 quarts. So I am really happy, and so now I am moving on to meat, and yeah, so I hope you stick around because I have quickly become the canning crazy lady again, and I don't think I'll ever be stopped. So I hope that you enjoyed this little video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.